Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. And there's the hose to attach to the head so you can take the head off and use it around any way that you want to. Both of the ends of the hose itself have washers already in them. Very nice feature because that is one of the biggest things to keep this thing from leaking. Also this piece which will go up on the pipe also has its washer already in it. Now I've seen some units where everything is separate, you put it in separately. It doesn't make a difference. Somebody put it in for us. That's good news. All right, so let's get started. The one thing, the extra thing that we need is some plumber's tape. This is not in your bag. If you don't have this, run over to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. This little guy here runs for about $1.29 and you'll use it for a long, long time because there's not a lot of purposes for it. It's mostly used for wrapping the threads on the pipe. And I'll show you what, that, what I'm doing there with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here on this. Okay, let's get nice and close on that. And let's, uh, let's, let's get busy on this. Now, the other thing that I also brought is my channel locks or you can use um, those heavy duty pliers that we showed you before. All right, so let's take this head off. Let's see if it's hand tightened first because they don't have to be, they don't have to be welded on. So, oh, okay, so this comes off nice. All right, there might be some water. Okay, no water, that's good. All right, so what we want to do is we want to clean up this area here. So this is plumber's tape that's on here already. So you don't want to put plumber's tape over top of plumber's tape. So no matter how much is in there, try and get it all out because you want a nice good seal around that or this thing will start to leak. You can see that it's starting to disintegrate a little bit. And that's not too bad. All right, so what we want to do is when we put the plumber's tape on, because that's our next step, is we want to put it on and turn it clockwise. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. We're going to keep it as flat as possible. And go around about three times on the threads. You can, go, you can go as many times as you want. Just remember, it's, it's very thin stuff, and it really does a nice job. All right, so boom. I just pulled it right off. It snaps right off. It's nice stuff. All right, so our threads are now covered with this plumber's tape. Our next step is to put, is to put this guy on. Now remember, it already has the washer on the inside. You can see that washer, black washer. It's a black uh, ring that's on the inside. Some people call it an O-ring. But this is going to go on here. And this is the, the sole reason why we turned that plumber's tape on clockwise is because you thread everything in clockwise. If you threaded it, if you put the plumber's tape on the opposite way, counterclockwise, and you turn this on, Clockwise, it's going to bunch up on the inside. All right, so we're turning this. We're going to get a nice tight fit. We're going to turn it until it's hard to turn. Okay. And then what we can do is we can put a washcloth or a towel or something like that and just give it a another just a quarter turn just for a nice tight seal do not clamp down on that so hard that you snap it because these pieces are plastic all right so we're going to straighten this out so the piping is straight up and down our next step is to put in the hose all right now, what do we do with threads? That's right. We put in some plumber's tape. Okay, and which way do we go? That's right, clockwise. 
And so we're going to put this on like this. I'm going to wrap this around two, three, maybe four times. I'm going to go one, two, three times. Okay, I'm going to put my thumb here and pull and it snaps right off. It's kind of a Teflon tape they call it so it's pretty thin but it really does the job. Time for the hose. Now again the hose has already got the washer on one side and it also has the, ho the washer in on the other side. So let's put this on. Take, put it up here and turn it clockwise. This one you don't want to use the wrench on. Just hand tighten it. Nice and tight. Okay? There. Now, before we put the head onto this one, before we put the head, the shower head, onto this piece here, let's put our plumber's tape on the end of this. All right. All right. So here we go. Let me show you. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do here now, plumber's tape is flat, kind of looks like really big floss. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on here. going to wrap it around. Now what you don't want to do is get any plumber's tape that covers the hole. You don't want to do that because that impedes the water coming out. And I'm taking my head and I'm spinning it as you can see and I'm going to put my finger here and I'm going to pull. And that's it. Finish wrapping it around. And I'm going to take the head and I'm going to put it into the end here. Okay. And all I'm doing is just screwing it into place. And when I'm done, it's going to be nice and hand tight. Okay. Now let's put this, let's zoom up again into here and this will mount right in just like that. Now this is supposed to go like this so you can figure out where you want the head, the, uh, uh, the water to come out and do whatever you want with it. Pull this out, shower off, put it back on again, just like that. Okay, let's show you that again. You can take this right off, shower around with it, and then put it right back on again. It is supposed to do this, so you can figure out where you want your water to go. And that's it. When the water goes on, it doesn't leak because it's, you've got the black washes that are in there and you've got your plumber's tape on there. So everything is going to be fine. You got a nice little unit here and I've seen these run from $20 to over $100. Quite honestly, what it is, it's everything that has to deal with this piece right up here. Do you want it to rain on you? Do you want pulsation? Do you want, it, there's a bunch of things that you can decide on which, what you want. How long did that take us to do? Not long at all. Some might be a little tougher than others, depending on the age of the pipe. But this took all of 10 minutes and you're going to have a nice shower after this. Please subscribe to this channel. I hope that everything that I'm teaching you is really helping out. If you've got any suggestions for other videos, please put them down in the comments. Um, um, I'm trying to do all this stuff for you so you can figure out how to do this stuff by yourself. You can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. You can do it. Just have someone tell you how to do it. 
That's what I'm here for. I'm trying. I am. I'm trying. I'll see you in the next video.